everyone. Good morning. It's time for another Wednesday Blue Plate Special. Today I am going to attempt to uh, make a uh, chicken pot pie. I have already prepared the, the dough for the crust that's sitting in the fridge. And uh, we're getting ready to get rolling with this little operation. I will read off the ingredients. It's quite simple. Some of this stuff I sort of parboil to get it ready to roll. I mean, there's going to be three quarters of a cup of carrots in here, diced up small. One and a third cup of onions, which I put a little bit of red onion that I had left over in with the, with the red, yellow onions. And I got about, uh, let's see, uh, one and a half cups of uh, peas and carrot mix and a cup and a half of broccoli that's going into this. And also there's four chicken thighs, which I already cooked up. Doesn't look like much, it looked a little bigger before they were cooked, but anyway, there's four chicken thighs in there. Getting my frying pan going, because I want to cook up the onions. There's also a teaspoon of garlic in, in with, these, with these onions. And, oh yes, for lest I forget, we have two cups of mushrooms going out there, if I didn't mention it. So, in we go. Alrighty now. My wooden spatula. Alright, let me get these onions going here. Put the heat down a bit. Bring them down to where they're starting to get translucent a little bit. And then we're going to throw the mushrooms in and cook those. And then I'll decide where I want to go from there. So I want to mix this up. But most of it's going to be mixed in here, and then I believe I will be putting it in a pot plate. This is on the fly, as it were. Um, plan, plan on using a can of, uh, at least one can of cream of chicken condensed soup in here instead of baking a roux and all that good stuff. So I'm taking the shortcut today, which probably works for a lot of people that are really busy and less chance of making a mistake. Not that it's that difficult to do. M mistakes or otherwise. <laughs> all right. Turn out the camera. No need of you watching me do this. I'm going to bore you. I always like it when I watch uh, YouTube videos if they cut to the chase, and I'll try to remember to do that. All right, we're back on for a little bit here. The onions are in good shape. They're all cooked down nicely. I have thrown the my sliced mushrooms in here, and I'm going to start cooking them. And then we'll be going from there. But uh, so far, so good. Like I said, this is going to be a chicken pot pie on the fly. Created as we go here. Turn off the camera a little bit now. Okay, the mushrooms and the onions are cooked. And as you can see, they cook down quite a bit. Mushrooms really do a lot of shrinking. So as I said, this is going to be going on the fly. So right now I'm going to add our four chicken breasts back in. Okay. All right. I'm going to add the. Pardon my head in the way. Real chicken soup. I may add another can. I'm not sure. It all depends on what it looks like. <laughs> this is one of those what it looks like deals. Try to get every doggone drop we can out of there. And I think, okay, I reached the point of diminishing returns. Mix that in. That might be what 
do for another can here, perhaps. We'll see. Alright. Now, now the trick that I want to do here is add some evaporated milk to this to limber it up a bit without getting too watery. And I'll add the rest of the ingredients and let it simmer a little bit. Alright. Put some more in. Vegetables will take some of it up. All right. You've got all that in there now. Huh? Where does he go from there? First thing I'm going to do is get me a itty bitty teaspoon here. Get an idea of what we're starting with here. Not too bad. But I do believe I would add a little bit more chicken bouillon to this. Or add chicken bouillon to it, as it were. All right, we're there so far. And I'm going to, I've got that on a low simmer. I'm going to start adding the other components here and work from there. All right. I have the peas. In they go. And believe me, my hands have been washed. I'm going to pan me. Some broccoli. All right. And my parboiled potatoes, which I have to drain. Okay. In go the taters. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley to that. Alright, there we go. I also add a little bit of Old Bay and some salt and pepper. And I'm going to, as this heats up, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to turn the camera off and I will let you know what I had to add to it or whatever. Check it out. Well, I thought I'd check back in. I rolled out my pie crust. Hopefully I'm going to be able to have some luck getting it on the pie. I don't know here. I'll try. Oh, God. Probably not in a very good spot here. seems to work for me is I lubricate the spray lubricant vegetable spray on the inside of the pie plate and I notice when I put the pie crust in when you try to work it to get it down in there and move it around it slides around nicely for you so I don't know if that'll work for everybody but it seems to work for me yeah, all right I got the bottom one done. I will work on the top one and be back on here in a little bit. Okay, wish me luck. I'm going to try to fill this up with the filler here and see what happens. It stiffened up nicely. Respect I may have more than I need, or maybe not. <laughs> you never know. Well, we'll try to get as much as I can get in there. In there. Just spread it around. And... Yeah. 
be mighty close, I tell you, mighty close. If I can get that to settle out a little bit. Oh, looks like we got it. Okay, and they have some run over on us. Well, it's on there. <laughs> Such as it is. We'll try to work it. A little bit here. This may not be perfect. But we'll see what happens here. gracious here. Oh, hang on. I'll turn off the camera for a minute here. We're on back. Our little phonus call us interrupt us there from the fellow that's going to come over and fix my bulkhead for me. So, we're getting there. This ain't pretty right now, but hoping it's prettier when I eat it. Come on, eat in there. Alright. Go right in a little bit more here. And I will egg wash this shortly here. Oh, we got a little break in the crust. Yeah, well, stuff happens, I guess, huh? Oh, I don't write in on itself. A little bit this left. Oh, this probably is not the way those real smart folks on YouTube do it, but I'll take it as I can get it. So I'm going to turn off the camera because i got to get the egg wash ready, and I'll be back. Alrighty now, I'm going to give this little critter an egg wash, put a little patch there, I cut some slits in the top to let the juices come out, the gas come out, steam if you want. Now I'm just going to give this a nice brush of that egg wash. Should brown it up nicely. I hope. I hope. I hope. All right, here we go. So we're gonna try this at 375 degrees for all practical purposes. Pretty much, we're baking the crust, as far as I can guess here, because most everything else. Sorry about leaving the door open. All right, so it's time to put this critter in the oven. Three hundred seventy-five degrees, and I'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to start saying what thirty minutes worth, but it may 
maybe more than that. running. Okay, I'm going to do a little clean up, turn the camera off. We'll see what happens when that uh, is done. Oh, I do saw a senior checking out. Okay, this is going to be the moment of reckoning, at least for taking the pie out and see what we ended up with. Oh, be quiet, please. Thank you. Alright, let's see where we're going with all this. Take a peek, and if I'm not happy, it's going to go back in for another five or ten minutes. I think we're there. Oh, tip it, but I don't want the juices running out. Well, that's what she looks like. I'm going to let it 11, about 11.30. We're going to let that cool for at least a half an hour, so sooner or later, you'll get to see what it looks like when it gets opened up. Oh, I do saw a senior check it out. Okay, I hope the camera gets all of me and all of the pie here. It's time to cut this baby open and see what happens. So, I ran through all the goodies. The only other thing I remember, if I don't remember if I, I said it when I was making it, stirring all the goodies in that I put in two bouillon cubes that I dissolved because I wanted to get a little bit more chicken flavor after I tasted it. Oh, Lord. Let's see what happens. I never have luck carving up a piece of pie, but today I'm hoping I get a little bit better luck. I'm not counting on it. Try to take it out slow. I know, I know everybody's, oh my god, is he gonna take it out? Alright, see if I have any luck with this. Oh boy. Look in there! Hallelujah, kids! Bada bing, bada boom, we got the first slice. Not in too bad a shape, actually. I won't cheat Paul, I'll get his. Extras here. All right, the crust looks pretty good. I'm going to bring that over to Paul and I'm going to cut myself a piece and we're going to have a lunch. So there it is. We'll let you know how good it is after we've devoured it. Checking out. Oh, I'm going to close this out. Oh, Wednesday Blue Plate Special came out. Quite nice. We each had a pretty good chunk out of it. The crust is delicious. Cooked just right. The filling was delicious. Uh, I recommend it. Giving it a try using the, the uh, cream of chicken soup and whatever else you'd like to put in there. You don't have to put the vegetables I put in. You can put anything you want. So Lloyd Dussel Sr. Checking out. Blue Plate Special was a success today. Take care, everyone.